What's up guys, Mr. Golden Thumbs here, and today, I actually just wanted to follow up on the gameplay video of Axis Football 24 that I did recently, and I'm just going to give you my take and who I feel this game really is for, like the target audience for this game. Now, I'm going to warn you right now, if you think this is going to be better than Madden or anything like that, it's not to say that it's not better, but they're very different and they offer different things if you're looking to play more of online head-to-head -head, ultimate team stuff like that you know and have nfl players and all this stuff then you're really better off playing madden now if you're a franchise enthusiast and you really like you know deep diving into franchise mode then this game definitely is for you and i mean for 20 dollars, it's insane the value that you get from this game now, for like you, you guys saw the gameplay. It's actually it looks pretty decent. It's a big improvement from previous years. Honestly, it, it, it's very enjoyable. And with the tons of customization that you get from franchise, like it makes it worth the twenty dollar investment in my opinion. If, like I said, you're gonna be playing a lot of franchise. Now, I'm gonna go through this real quick. Uh, this is a franchise. There's a bunch of teams available. Uh, we're just gonna pick a random team here. You can configure it by American or European t European tier, sorry. Uh, basically, the tier system is uh, you have three tiers and uh, it's like a promotion to kind of go into the upper tier. So let's say you start tier three, you have a promotion to get into tier two and then same thing to get into tier one. Or you just have the classic American system with conferences and a set amount of um teams in each division for those conferences the biggest team size or sorry not team size but league size that you can have is 32 teams you can change it all the way down to eight teams you can shuffle random rosters you can have unlimited funds uh you can also randomly place the teams inside divisions and conferences prior to the franchise or into the tiers right uh the basic layout for the tiers is that it will take the best overall teams and place them tier one and then it trickles down all the way to tier three so we're going to continue here uh you can customize all the the conferences and the le sorry the divisions within those conferences and we're just going to start a franchise with a random team here i think it's orlando so you can actually go through and play the franchise games like you normally would you know you control the game and everything you can play it as a coach you can spectate and you can simulate the game but where the huge improvement is from previous years in the access football is that now we have team morale we have available funds it keeps track of all the statistics for this season so all the stats you have a hall of records which is like the hall of fame basically uh you have league leaders team leader the rankings for uh defense offense all that stuff just like personnel same thing it shows you the free agency now uh, you can trade, uh, it shows you the team morale and uh, how it's been affected and what events have affected the team morale throughout the franchise. Uh, you can have people on your practice squad, it shows you injuries, player contracts is expiring. Also, you have a front office now, unassigned coaches and hire new coaches. You can change the practice strategy from normal to light to heavy and it has different uh, outcomes on whatever you pick for the practice. Uh, you also have a draft guide which is basically your draft board, your financial reports. You can purchase upgrades for your facility just like Madden now. Like this is actually insane. This is just like a Madden franchise. You can change everything. You can buy uh, new upgrades for your field just like we did in Madden. And you also have scouting points now. So this franchise mode is absolutely insane in terms of what it offers. Uh, like it's a very deep franchise and it's as deep if not deeper than Madden. And it's a $20 game like we said previously. So that's it for the franchise mode, right? But what gets even more interesting here is that you can create teams and you can edit playbooks. You cannot create plays, okay? So that's, you need to understand that you cannot create plays, but you can create a playbook, picking the plays in the playbook and all that. But in the team suit, you can create a new team. 
So let's say you wanted to add all the NFL teams. You could if you wanted to add CFL teams, college teams. Honestly, I don't know yet what the cap is on how many teams you can create. That's something I'm going to need to figure out. And I'll update you guys on that when I do figure that out. But you can also edit the exi existing teams. So you could just replace every team in the league with NFL teams. And when you... I mean, when you're editing or creating a team, we're going to go into create here, right? You can pick the name, the colors, the logo. There's a pretty good variety of logos. Uh, it goes into categories. You have cats. There's two pages. There's dogs, birds, bears, reptiles, horned animals, miscellaneous animals, monsters, people, weapons, objects, location, stylized letters, block letters, classic letters, italic letters, and symbol letters. So... If you're creating teams there's a lot a lot of possibilities here you can also edit the uniforms as as much as you want so that's pretty cool too from the helmet jersey pants the font the colors you can edit all the jerseys you can edit all the rosters so you could add players or even create yourself as a player in a on a team uh, for a franchise or something like that now you can't play like there's no my player right like you can't control just one player but you could be on the team and do it like that and what's really cool here is that you can edit the field for every team in the game so you can change the layout of the field the end zone style so that is pretty cool and obviously it's going to match with the team logo team colors and everything now the the field customization is maybe not the deepest tool that they have like you can't change the um, the area around the field, but you can change the end zone styles and the field style. So honestly, that's a nice little touch. Like it, it's not crazy, but it's something that we don't have in Madden. So I think it's really cool. And you can also uh, change the play selection here. So basically it's the strategy for each team, right? Do you want to run more, pass more? What type of runs do you want to do? what type of passes then you can do the defense uh you can do offense first down second down third down uh like there's a wide range of changes that you can do i mean you can definitely definitely do a lot with the creation center in access football 24 and uh the franchise mode very very deep now obviously you don't get online head to head in this game uh, you can play exhibition games, you can just coach, you can spectate a game if you want and do some simulation football kind of stuff. But you can play local, uh, two-player, obviously you have to play with someone else on the same console or the same PC. At least you can play with somebody else, but obviously you're not going to get that Madden online head-to-head -head, and you're not going to get any type of ranked play. But for $20, for all the the variety and customization and the deep franchise that you do get in Axis Football 2024, the huge improvements from the previous years. For $20, this is a solid game. And the gameplay is very good. I I like the gameplay. It's not uh, honestly it's pretty good for a non-Madden game. The only issue is the pass defense and the passing in the game is a little finicky take some getting used to but other than that honestly the game feels a lot smoother than previous years so if you're more of a franchise player and you like having the customizable options and just having complete control over the franchise then i definitely think that access football 2024 is a better choice for you than madden hands down better choice than madden if you're into the franchise and i would say it's a solid I'm going to say 7 out of 10 because of the price point, all the customizable options that you do get, the improvements from previous years on the gameplay and fluidity of the game. Uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this game. Don't forget to subscribe for more Axis Football 2024 content. Until next time, guys.